There are two things that excite me the most in the RC world. The first is just a really, really nice, expensive, awesome performing thing. The other is a very good performing budget vehicle. Now I don't know if this is gonna perform well yet, but it is budget. This comes in well under $100. It's a ready to fly EPP airplane. It's that very, very bendable, durable, uh, foam that just will take a beating. I mean, you can stomp on these things and they basically don't break. So I love the setup. The unique thing about this airplane is not only the price, but the motor, the way it is driven with one single prop, that's to be expected, has three motors in kind of a pyramid or triangle shape in there. I can see all three of the gears. Let's see if we can get a nice close shot, Abby. It's really wild to look in there. I don't know if you guys can see all of them, but there really are three brushed motors in this airplane. It also has two servos to allow you to have elevator and rudder control, which is awesome. Listen, I've had airplanes that have had three motors and three props. Two motors, two props. Before you get the picture, I've never had one with one prop with three motors. That's really crazy. They say it's so you have a little bit more oomph. Now, Generally, when you have an airplane that has more oomph or performance, it gets a shorter flight time. This thing on the included 500 milliamp battery, just this little guy here with a Molex plug, you know, the most common battery type connector on a dime. These are very cheap batteries. They're saying that this will get a 25 minute flight time. Everything looks great. It's made by WL Toys. It also says it has a really good range. I'm just really excited about this setup. The price is amazing. You, you need to check it out. We have a link in the description box below. I don't like to say the price when it's really good. When I do, we see the price go up some. It's just well under 100. Take my word, it's a good price. We're gonna fly it. I'm gonna let you know if it's a good performing airplane. I'm not telling you to buy it yet. Keep watching the video. Let's find out together if it's any good. At the end of the video, I'll let you know if it's worth your money or if they're just bending the truth. I have really high hopes for this because of the brand. They generally follow through. And uh, well, let's just put it in the air. Nate is gonna do a hand launch, but this does come with landing gear and a spare prop, but because our airfield is grass, um, the, oh, the landing gear probably wouldn't work too well. <laughs> Maybe it would've worked better than that, I don't know. Take two, come on, Nate. He's in the air, there we go. You gotta get the hang of it. The sun today. It definitely needed some up trim. And I don't know, a little gust of wind knocked it down, but I like to include that stuff. That's the real world we live in. <laughs> if I was some guy that cared about appearances, that would be edited out. But I would like to include that for you guys because we're all gonna toss it and smack into the ground occasionally. It also shows that it is durable. I just bounced off the ground. So I'm cruising at about half throttle. I like the looks of a, of a little Cessna plane with no landing gear. There, there are some small passenger planes that have retract landing gear. They're usually really expensive. That'd be crazy, I've and never I've, seen I've that. I've never seen one in person, I don't think, unless it was at an air show. I probably have, but I've not grown up around those because I grew up around a, a budget airport. <laughs> but I loved it. So this is easy to fly. I'm cruising at half throttle. I just got one hand in my pocket and the other hand is nice. on the right stick. It's a little chilly, that's why. And I'm just cruising around. It has really good rudder control. I don't know that it has flight stabilization. I can't really tell. Maybe it does, but it's really windy and it's easy to fly. So I think it does. <laughs> I'll tell you when I land it. I'll do a little landing here in just a minute. This is a nice plane. I like this. This is a good one to learn on for a kiddo that can kind of beat it around a little bit, not have to worry about something breaking. And well, you know what? Here's one way to find out if it has stabilization. We're gonna throttle up. There's full throttle, and I'm gonna try to do a loop. A loop! Oh, I just don't have much up elevator, guys. Let's, I'm gonna land it, and I'll let you know for sure if it has stabilization or not. It's easy to fly, I know that. No stabilization. See, when it has stabilization, see how it's twisting around like that? You would hear the servos correcting it to try to get it to go back to level. So it does not have flight stabilization. 
Whoa. Yeah, that was terrible. Well, you're going to have to fly this. It's very easy to fly, even without stabilization. I would say that, you know, we've been showing you guys that P51 Mustang. Uh, that was amazing comes in right around this price point about this size so it's great for parks you know if you don't have access to an airfield that's okay i'll bet you do to a baseball field at the park or a soccer field or something that's the perfect size space for this size airplane also recently on the channel we showed you guys the amazing jet it was amazing and what was it forty dollars that'd be 45 dollars at most it's crazy it had flight stabilization it just performed so well it was so good i would say that if you are on a budget and you're trying to learn how to fly without stabilization this would be a good plane to kind of push you normally i say your your next step airplane should be a 100 to 150 dollar airplane bigger more powerful that's that's where you should go to learn your next step this might be step two on a budget for you Below the tree line, Abby. Do I think? get to fly it? Oh yeah, come I'm on. pointing at myself. Okay, yeah, definitely. I, I wanted you to fly it. There's zero throttle. Okay, you didn't tell me. Yeah. Okay, I had your no turn. No indication of that. Okay, Abby's at the controls. Oh, I told you. See, see. Yeah. Well, throw throw it up more. Yeah. There we go. She'll get it. There it is. Okay. We both had different expectations for the launch. <clears throat> I was hoping I could show you up. Oh no! <laughs> oh. I looked away for one second. Yeah. Second. Almost got in Death Valley. Oh. <laughs> well, you're showing me up just fine. You're flying it. I am flying it. I mean, doesn't it kind of feel like there's some stabilization? I think it's just... I think it's just because it's a top wing. Yeah. The wind is pushing it around a little right. bit. But it's not too bad, is it? No. I mean, we've got <clears throat> five mile an hour, pretty constant breeze going right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. It bangs pretty It <laughs> pretty can crazy. bank. It can bank and turn tight if you want it to. And you have to correct it. You know, like once you finish your curve, you have to go back to center and try to center the wings again. Yep. Good point. So this won't do a loop? No, I tried. I don't have a lot of up elevator. See that? So the wing, the main wing comes off of the airplane. You install the wing just with a little lip insert into the front and then one screw holds the back part on. Um, I don't imagine you'd have to ever take this apart for transportation, but you could. Zero throttle. <clears throat> it glides pretty well. Uh, <laughs> She's touching the throttle. I don't want throttle. it to go down into that valley. There. You're kiting it pretty well. Yeah, not too bad. So that's, she's zero throttle, but I'm, I'm guessing she's pulling a lot of up on the oh, elevator. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. What a beautiful day to fly, Abby. Windy, chilly, but we just caught a little spot of sun. Oh! oh! <laughs> oh, caught a little spot of sun and thought, oh, charge the batteries, let's go. And at the house, it actually looked a little more calm. Yeah. We got to the airfield yeah, and the I'll wind. Guys, is it ever the opposite way? Is it ever windy at your house and you leave and you're like, I'm going to fly in some wind today? And you get to the airfield and no, it's calm? No. Happen. It does, but it's super rare. No, it doesn't happen. <laughs> Listen to all that construction, ka clank, ka clank. Yeah. I think it's like right before quitting time for I those guys. I miss the olden days. Oh, we they weren't that. there. That's okay. There's so <clears> many things <throat> back there now, it's crazy. I could show them a shot of it after, if we remember at the end of this video, we'll show them. There's, it used to just be a cow pasture. That now it's, sad. and nothing against Marathon. We like Marathon, they do okay. But it's just not a cow pasture anymore. That's okay. It's okay, we got we got to get out and fly today. Actually guys, we tried to go up to fly at the high school where we've been doing some of our ground vehicle videos, <clears throat> like the little cheaper ground vehicles we've been doing. I thought it'd be nice to mix it up and show you guys this flying in a little bit tighter of a space. Uh, but it has a huge backdrop of hillside and little airplanes like that don't film well, well against the tree line. So we're here. Did you tell them this is supposed to fly for 25 minutes? 25 minutes! minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna fly the full 25 on camera. Now, I think if I this. I fully believe it though. I do too. I, oh, oh, okay. I think if this plane 
had a single brushed motor, we'd be struggling to fight the wind. What do you think? Maybe, yeah. It's cutting through the wind, no problem. It's doing a great job. You, you've you been at the controls this entire time uh, since we addressed it, and you're not struggling at all, are you? No. There you go, Especially one hand like flying. the wind pushes it around a little bit, but it's not <clears throat> hard to correct it. Like you can see, it's kind of coming to our backs. You see that right wing kind of tip up every once in a while. Oh, it's not too bad. I will say that this battery on the camera is going to die well before the plane battery. We're at eight and a half minutes now, minus maybe 30 seconds of getting it in the air. Uh, we're probably gonna have to switch out batteries <laughs> on the camera. There may be a cut. I don't know, do you guys wanna see this fly for 25 minutes? <laughs> I don't think much is gonna change. No, <laughs> no, but, but as long as you're enjoying it, please keep flying. I'm sure everybody uh, watching, or at least most people watching, probably don't have a whole lot going on right yeah. now. I guess I just wish it could perform, you know, loops. A loop, that a loop would be, be nice. good, because that jet could do a loop. Yeah, I didn't press any of the buttons, but I did look at the instructions, believe it or not. I looked at the instructions. They did not indicate at all that it could do anything beyond what it's doing right now. Yeah. Although, again, I think this is a wonderful thing to to learn on. If you bought the Esheen P51 Mustang, you tried so bad. <laughs> oh, you tried so bad to do a loop. <clears throat> if you got the Esheen P51 and or the, what, what jet was that, Abby? The FU4, F, for you, what, what was that? I can't remember. I don't know. <laughs> I used to remember these things. The MIG, I just can't remember what it was called. We have it on our channel very recently. Either one of those, if, if you've got one of those, this would make a great budget intermediate plane to learn on because you're losing the flight stabilization, but it's durable. So you're gonna smack into things while you're learning and uh, put it right back in the air. Just like Abby and I both did. Horrible little launches on our first takeoff. So, so that you don't do that, <clears throat> maybe before you take off, give it a little bit of down trim, two clicks on the elevator. And when I mean down, I mean up. <laughs> pull, pull down on the button, but that trims it up, just like you're pulling back on the right stick. And give it full elevator on your takeoff, or close to full and maybe three-fourths throttle. And you should avoid <laughs> smacking the ground. Whoa, Abby, I zoomed in instead of out on accident because I panicked. You're so bad. I just, I'm pretty good. It still doesn't know which way focuses farther out and which way focuses farther out. Um, it not, drives me crazy. Yeah, and sometimes I... Mm -hmm. No, you don't. You just, you just don't. You've never <laughs> taken it upon yourself to remember. But you know what I can do? You can fly a plane about I try, at least. You're, you're doing a great job right now, though. These circles. <laughs> okay, all right. We're up to 11 minutes on the camera. I'm sure the battery's gonna die. Give us a nice smooth landing. Nice smooth lands landing, nose into the wind. Let's see what you got here, Abby. Level that wing out and bring it in. So there's no aileron control, just rudder and elevator. Nicely done. Thank you. Really awesome little plane. For the price, I have zero complaints. It performed really well. What we'll do, just like we did on the helicopter recently on the channel, we'll give you guys an updated flight time. So here's the thing. I know there's a handful of you that would probably watch us fly this for an hour or so, and we love you guys. You're amazing. But most of you probably don't wanna see this one flying for an hour. So we flew it for what, about 11 minutes? We'll give you the rest of the flight time down below because Abby and I, we could stay up here for hours and fly this. If it would fly for five hours, I'd enjoy that. So we'll give you the accurate flight time down in the description box below where we'll have this linked. If you wanna pick one up, we give it two thumbs up. I know Abby does too. It performed as expected, if not a little bit better. Very easy to put together. If it ever breaks, really easy to repair. I'm just glad we got out here to fly today. I wasn't expecting it. It was kind of a nice little bonus day because it's been kind of gloomy and rainy all day and I thank God for that. I also want to thank our Patreon supporters before we go. All the names that are scrolling by right now are some of our top tier Patreon supporters. Without you guys and everybody that supports us, we just couldn't do what we do. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Throughout this video and popping up here at the end screen, the little thing with the cartoons, we've got a video of either the P-51 or the jet I was talking about. 
also very well worth your time. You guys should definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.